Well, it's back. It's as good as ever. It's as dirty as ever. It's Jackass of the Week. Enjoy. And we'll start off reaction with these two guys, No Name Lord and Killian, who are both determined to get that number one position, no matter what they have to do. The only trouble is, all that pushing and shoving, and Killian, you still didn't get the top spot. Muppet. And next up we have Ruben Herrera, who quite possibly went to the Gran Turismo school of dive bombing. Either that, or he forgot how the brake pedal works. But what's worse than that, is all that hassle, all that pushing and shoving, and he only managed to gain one place. Was it even worth the hassle? And next up we have Kenna, who, to be fair, did a reasonable job of attempting some overtakes while going around the outside. But, with the sharp left-hander coming up, once everybody takes the driving line, and the space just disappears. Unlucky Kenna, although you only have yourself to blame for that one. And in this clip we see Zulang pushing John Welby into the Shadow Realm. Now, I don't actually think this one was dirty driving, it certainly wasn't clean driving, that's for sure. And if we watch it from on board with John, you can see, as I thought, it's just a case of Zulang missing his braking point. Unfortunately, two doesn't go into one. And here we see Harry Kebab in the green Porsche, who was quite blatantly getting forced off the track by the guy whose name I'm not going to even try to pronounce. But I guess considering he'd already got three seconds worth of penalties, he obviously wasn't bothered about the quality of his driving standards. And in this clip we see Padonix, who was way, way too late on the brakes and very nearly forces Hayden off the track. And then almost ends up forcing another driver off as well. And while we let this clip play out, if I could ask if you guys would hit those like and subscribe buttons, it really does help out the channel and I appreciate every one of you that takes the time to do so. And here we have Man Machine, who is another one that believes that dive bombing into the first corner is the way to do it. Now, if you're thinking that that name sounds a little bit familiar to you, it does, because I featured this driver in a video earlier on in the week, specifically for this move, which is coming up about now. And there I go. Now, this guy was actually my first pick for Jackass of the Week and would have got the title had it not been for the fact that I met this guy, Dirty Grandpa. Well, his name is actually Grumpy Grandpa. Dirty just describes his driving style, as you can see in the first incident. Because yes, there's more to come from this particular driver. And by the time we got to the final lap, I managed to get back in front of Grandpa, which obviously didn't please him, because he had already come up with his next attack and it was a good old-fashioned punt from behind which sent me off the track and gained him a place it also gained him a four and a half second penalty yes now a lot of you might be thinking that the incident with the previous driver was actually worse driving and to be fair it was see it wasn't so much grandpa's dirty driving that was the issue it was his attitude after the race now you see, as if all the shunting and pushing wasn't bad enough, he was now going to try and justify his actions by saying that he was faster than me and he'd been sandbagging. At least I think that's what he was trying to get at. Now, yes, you may be faster than me, but you had to cheat to do so. If you're a faster driver, why didn't you get past me? I might have been slower, but I had damage twice from incidents that you caused and you still couldn't beat me and so not just for the blatant dirty driving but also for having a pretty poor attitude towards your fellow racers I think it's only fair that this week's Jackass of the Week award goes to <coughs> Grumpy Grandpa definitely a true jackass this guy's a serious asshole for more great videos like this one, follow this link, 
Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.